week. Well, Governor Jim Pillen held kickoff the Nebraska State Fair this morning during an opening ceremony, and this year's edition of the Nebraska State Fair has seen a few changes. But as Local 4's Casey Men shows us, there's also a new look to the fair personnel. The Nebraska State Fair kicked off this morning with a new leader at the helm, but she's not new to the Nebraska State Fair. At the end of 2022, the Nebraska State Fair Board named Jamie Parr as their executive director. But Parr has a long history with the fair. She started with them 25 years ago while they were still in Lincoln, and she moved with the fair in 2010 and has filled several roles in leadership, including deputy executive director under former director Bill Ogg. And Parr says the 11 day event in Grand Island is more than a fair for her. The fair is life in my life. That is very true. It is, um, it, it's everything that I do. My daughter is here with me this morning. Um, it's because it's so important to me, um, so much more than event. It's an annual homecoming. It's, a, it's my annual family. Um, it's, it's incredibly important, and it's going to be a great year. And Lindsay Kepke, the executive director of the 1868 Foundation, says it's been an honor to work with Parr since they both joined the fair 25 years ago. And Parr says she was happy to see a day one kickoff without any complications. Reporting in Grand Island from the Nebraska State Fair, I'm Casey Mintz for Local 4 News.